This family from Sri Lanka created a food forest, an analog forest, which produces a wide variety of fruits, tea and coffee in a sustainable way. How different this all looked 10 years ago, when their tea plot produced less every year because the soil was poor and degraded. Despite this, they were able to convert their plot into a rich and productive forest with the support of the local partners of Rich Forests. In an analog forestry system, your system is enriched every year because the trees grow, the shrubs grow, the understory is growing and every year you can harvest more and more different products. Let's take a closer look at their formerly degraded tea plot. After an appropriate design was made, the plot was intercropped with perennial fruit trees and plants like coconut, mango, berries, nuts and medicinal herbs. Over time, a food forest developed which keeps itself in balance now and in the far future. So, what makes a forest stable and resilient? An analogue forest is built according to the seven layers principle, from the canopy at the top to the smaller trees and the lower plants at the bottom. Every layer yields products which can be harvested, and every layer has its own function, whether it is to filter water, to improve the soil, or to grow medicinal herbs and food crops. Now you probably wonder how a fruitful landscape like this can develop from poor soil without even using chemical fertilizers. Well, all these plants and leaves produce litter which falls down to the ground. When it decomposes, it breaks down and enriches the soil. Tree roots structure the soil and now a lot more water and carbon dioxide can be absorbed. Et voila! And this system change towards analog forestry is one of the aims of rich forests. Rich forest itself is mainly the playing the role of a matchmaker. We know what we're talking about, but we are not the expert of all the different species in all the different ecosystems. That's why we work with local organizations and local experts. Rich Forests has several training centers and focuses on four basic elements. They create pilot sites in different ecosystems to show the potential. This is the site for our analog forestry training center. So we can actually have our trainings here on analog forestry methodology and then take our trainees directly to the field and actually see what is happening in the forest. We create our own modest food forest, analog forest in this region because we also want to show farmers here in the Netherlands and in Europe that a different production system is possible. So they can come here to be trained in the same methods and ideology that our, our farmers um, and communities are being trained in Asia, Africa and in Latin America. The end goal of Analog Forest is to get products and bring these products to the market. The high quality tea, for instance, can be exported and sold on the international market, while the other products are sold on the local market and benefit the local community. Advocacy is needed to create the right conditions, such as land rights. For who will invest in such a long-term process when land can be taken away? But also to convince farmers, companies and policy makers of the benefits of such an ecosystem. When you are talking about dry, the dry doesn't mean that uh, you cannot uh, have initiative to, re to reverse the situation. And today, Fama in Niger reverse the situation. We also need to work on showing that it is possible. So you really have to come with good data because it is out of most people's mindset that this kind of production is giving you a higher uh, volume of products of a higher quality, um, which also supports nature conservation and biodiversity. And is good for carbon stock. If you're working on one of those fields, it can be really interesting to work together with us and create more food forests all over the world because it really tackles those kind of challenges. Mm -hmm.